Well, you guys got a quick video here for you. If your PC doesn't support Windows 11 because it's on the unsupported hardware list from Microsoft, then this video is for you. You can use Rufus to create a bootable USB flash drive, which will bypass all of the requirements and allow you to install Windows 11 on that PC that has got unsupported hardware in it. So basically, all you need to do is head over to the Rufus website and download the portable version of this software. Once you've got this downloaded, you will then be able to download the ISO file from Microsoft's website because you're going to need that. I've already got the USB flash drive plugged in. I've got a 64 gig one here. You can use a 32 gig or 64 gig one of these, or maybe only 16 gigabytes should be fine if that's all you have. So head over to the Microsoft website and download the ISO file. You'll see where it says download Windows 11 disk image right here, and that's the one you want to download. So select that and basically hit the download button to hit download now. It will validate your request. Then you can put in your language. So choose the language of your choice. I'm going to choose English International and click confirm. And this will then give you the download link for the 64-bit version. Windows 11 only supports 64-bit. So hit the download 64-bit version right now. And that will come down onto your computer. So going back to this folder here, we have Rufus portable version here. I'm going to open this up. I'm not going to do the update. That will be just fine. And you should see something look like this. Now you can see my device is my USB flash drive. And you can see here we have the select button. Select the ISO that you just downloaded. And now all we need to do now is choose whether we want the partition scheme, uh, GPT or uh, MBR. You can see the standard Windows installation is selected there. So this is uh, for MBR. MBR is for older legacy hardware. Or you've got GPT, which is for uh, modern UEFI non-CSM BIOSes. So let's go ahead and leave it on GPT, because this is a modern day computer. And again, what we're going to do here is we're going to leave the label as is. You can leave NTFS file system here, and we can click on start, and this will prepare the USB flash drive for us. Once we click start, you will see another little window pop up here, and this is where we can add in the user experience. So we can remove the requirements for four gigabytes plus RAM, secure boot and TPM 2.0. I'm going to leave that check marked. We can also remove the requirement for online Microsoft account. This means you'll be able to create a local account just by check marking that there. And we can now uh, disable uh, BitLocker automatic device encryption. We can also disable the data uh, collection, skip privacy questions, and we can also check mark this. Uh, set region options if we want to. Once that's done, you'll get this warning, uh, all data will be erased. It's going to erase all the data on that USB flash drive. So we're going to click OK here, and it's going to get this prepared for us and ready for use. You can use this on any PC that has got unsupported hardware, and it will install Windows 11 on that system. It will bypass the strict system requirements that Microsoft have in place, so you can install Windows 11 on that unsupported hardware. Bearing in mind that Windows updates will work for now, but Microsoft could block you in the near future from receiving security updates if they wish to do so. But until now, it does work. Just a quick updated video for you today. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I shall catch you in the next one. Bye for now.